Hey, what's up guys? So today we have our how to switch weapons in Unity using C Sharp. And this is an easy tutorial. So what's our objective? All we need to do is create a simple state machine that allows us to switch between weapons. And some of the things that we need to do, create a second weapon for our hero, create variables for our weapons, check to see if uh, we did something to switch the weapons. So that'll be pushing a key. Create a function to switch the weapons. Um, what to do if something else happens. Play, test, and enjoy. So the first thing we need to do, we have our controller right here. Uh, here's his weapon. This is a sphere ball and a capsule. And um, we'll just make another simple um, 3D object for a placeholder. It could be a gun or a gun or another gun or another gun. In this instance, we'll just use a cube uh, as a placeholder just for the tutorial. And uh, his gun will be over here. Just put out so you can see it in the camera a little bit. And, uh, you know, you can just do it however you want. And then, let's go back to our notes real quick. Um, we've done that. We'll create our, our weapon. And we need to create a script now so we can add uh, some code to it. And just create a new C sharp script. Never JavaScript. And you can call it um, switch weapons or whatever you want. And um, open that up. And we don't need start right now, so we can delete that. We will need the update function. And then um, create your game objects. So we have two weapons. So we need a uh, something called game object, weapon one. And uh, there's a couple of things. Because we're going to be adding this in the inspector, we need to make it public. Public, And then create a game object, call it weapon02. And uh, so we can go over here and check in the inspector, take our switch weapons, and we'll put it on our first person controller here. And we'll see it's come over here. So we have two places where we need to add a weapon, sphere ball will be his first weapon and then cube gun and the second weapon so that's why you need to make these public if you had nothing there if you just had game object weapon 01 it would not show up in inspector so now we need to check if we do something and we need to put this in the update method because this is running all the time so it's going to be checking if we do something and we'll just say we want to check if we push a button or input uh, or a key. So we put input, uh, um, get key down. And which one? We need to have a key code dot uh, Q. So we're going to check if we push Q, then um, we'll switch weapons. So in order to do that, we need to create another function. We could write it in here, but that tends to get kind of sloppy, so it's good practice to have uh, just create a new function and, and it keeps the code easier to read and tidier, etc. You could leave it in there if you wanted to. but um, So we would call it switch weapons, but uh, that'll throw an error if we try to name the function the same thing as the script. So we'll just call it um, weapons, please. And... Uh, Whenever you ask kindly, things tend to work a little bit better. So avoid, switch weapons please. And then we're going to do another if statement. So if, if what, we need to say if weapon01 is uh, active self and mm, nothing. If, if weapon one active self, we go weapon one dot set active to false. So we're going to disable the first weapon. And then we're going to make the second weapon active. So make sure if you copy and paste like that, make sure you change things accordingly. Otherwise, um, it won't work. So we're just saying if. This, if this happens, if weapon one act the self, so if it's showing and we've pushed Q ahead of time, obviously, it's going to 
make it invisible and then make the second weapon visible and then we're just gonna go else um, weapon one set active is true and then weapon 02 we're gonna disable that one and that should work so all we're saying if we push Q we're gonna disable the first weapon and <coughs> excuse me show the second weapon and if we do push Q again then it's the opposite we're gonna disable the second weapon and enable it the first weapon let's go back to unity and we got error And put get button down Q. Get I'll oh, get key. There you go. That should fix it. There you go. And this is interesting because this is a well that goes back to previous tutorial, but anyway. So we have our script, our new script on there, on our player. Press uh, Command P, the shortcut to run our game. Cross fingers and hope it works. So you can see we're walking around. So it works, but as you notice, when we first started, both game objects were visible. So let's just look again in case uh, we missed that. So we're looking around. We're playing, but look, the rod and the cube are both visible. So we don't want that. We only want one visible, but the code does work. So to fix that, ironically, uh, we did need to start. Void start. And all we're going to do is when we start the script, we're going to say weapon 02 is set active as false. So now when the script starts, the cube should not be visible and and it works so let's try the queue again everything works all good take a look around the awesome level and enjoy that's it guys so i hope you um found that useful and thanks for watching if you need help leave a comment or just want to say something um have a nice day that's cool too or whatever you want anyways uh, i'll talk to you later see ya